Justin Tang and Mario Martinez, both, of course, you know very well, Mario, I know from the, the you know you very well from the US team, but we have a Canadian, oh, just before that, we have another hometown hero, that's Pavel Muratov from Russia, on the mat now. jump straight to back sweep well interestingly enough about Pavel um, Jiangsu European Wushu Championships in 2016 gold medal uh, Jiangsu at the Wushu World Cup 2016 uh, silver and at the University of Games 2017 at Chanchuan uh, silver well, definitely one of the highlights of the Russian team and getting all that home support as well so far what have you seen in this routine Anthony so far you can tell he's very sharp, very relaxed and athletic. Very balanced, strong as well in the legs. Yeah, very calm and confident. Well, of course, the big question here is whether Russia can find themselves in the top three So Pavel Muratov smiles at his fans, and of course all the home fans here in Russia. And that was just solid throughout, really. Good highlight on that 720. Just shows you the control he has in his landing. Well, as again, that, that hip transition that you were talking about, the strength in the legs, really just the lower half of the body was Absolutely bang on. Now, the question is, can Pavel get himself into the top three? He's going to need a 9.6 at least, a 9.65, I think it is. It's right now a 9.62 or more, so it is uh, China. Up top with 970, Indonesia with Akbar Nulefu 9.64, Malaysia in third with a 9.62, and that is a 9.63. Just as I say it, Russia have managed to get themselves into the top three, fully deserved. Fully deserved. Very strong performance. 